The SHIP project is a residential education program uh, that is based in Sunrise and we work with women who are homeless or at risk of homelessness. So there's a whole education program uh, that's wrapped around that, but also so that the women can uh, look at how they're going to long term uh, sustainability uh, moving forward once the crisis has passed. can accommodate four residential uh, people at a time and we also work with them before they come into the program as an outreach component and then we also offer support once they leave the program and move more into independence. So we've been functioning for about five years and so now um, we started with one house. We now have um, a second house um, on the property and we also have a residential property out in the community that we're using as well. Uh, and so we've probably supported around 50 women uh, during that time and of those 95% have no longer uh, live on the streets, have not returned um, to their previous lifestyle. Uh, but we've also got about 10 people that are now currently at university uh, and all of our clients have some kind of employment uh, moving forward by the time they leave us. So it's a whole pro holistic perspective program. So we also look at financial, uh, physical well-being as well as mental stability uh, and also how to be financially independent moving forward. So we've been trying to build a business so that we could provide some employment options for the ladies over the last two years. Uh, so we've, we've been uh, developing a program called The Linen Shift, which is laundry with a conscience. Uh, so we're accommodating uh, five star um, places in Byron and we're supporting the women to work uh, in a supported environment so that they can then move forward into other employment options in town. So we've been able to provide um, uh, huge washing machines and dryers so that we could expand the business uh, into a proper industrial site uh, in Byron Bay. Look, we've done really well, even though COVID-19 came uh, just as we were about to launch. Uh, in actual fact, it's given us time to work with the machines, but also a lot of the um, accommodation area took time to do cleaning. So it meant that we had a really good option of having a lot of linen come through, a big time to actually work out how to run the program, but also what the structure looks like and get ready uh, moving forward. So we've secured um, elements um, as our major um, sponsor as well as 45 on Lawson and Beach Blu-ray. So we're accommodating uh, five-star accommodation in Byron, which I think is a really good education piece that the women themselves have been struggling but actually have something to offer this community on a local level by offering their services to the five-star accommodation in the area. So I think that's a really good mix. I just really appreciate the support from ETC and I think we'll be able to form a really good partnership moving forward given that your employment options are now are much more obvious for us but also I think because we've been able to run a local business based on local economy uh, and which means that the women themselves then contribute to the community so we really appreciate uh, the belief in the system but also the encouragement to move forward and, and really get this enterprise up and running so ETC has been a big part of that so thank you.